Now let me revise the important points of the drugs which are used in the treatment of cough. If you take this cough, cough it is a protective reflex to remove exogenous substances and secretions which are present within the respiratory tract and this particular cough it is of two types one is the productive cough productive cough is with expectoration and this is reduced by expectorants and mucolytics the another type of cough is a non-productive cough non-productive or dry cough that means it is without expectoration now where will you see these particular different types of cough if you take the dry cough dry cough it is seen in case of pleural disorders and interstitial lung disease whereas you take the productive cough productive cough it is seen in pulmonary tuberculosis chronic bronchitis and lower respiratory pathologies except for your interstitial lung diseases next we have another type of cough that is the drug induced cough remember there are certain drugs which will induce the cough what are those drugs which will induce the cough that includes your AC inhibitors AC inhibitors are the drugs which will induce the cough next this particular cough it can be suppressed by using the drugs and drugs can suppress the cough by acting on the cough center in medulla or on the stretch receptors of the respiratory tract now that means these drugs they are acting on the cough center in the medulla that is centrally acting whereas stretch receptors in the respiratory tract that is the peripheral center that means we have a group of drugs which will act centrally we have a group of drugs which will act peripherally now if you see this centrally acting drugs centrally acting drugs include dextromethorphan codeine folcodeine noscapine and diphenhydramine these are centrally acting antitussives if you see the dextromethorphan dextromethorphan it acts by stimulating the NMDA receptors this is a very important question dextromethorphan it acts by stimulating the NMDA receptors and remember it is less effective than opioids but with lesser side effects opioids is, they have lot of side effects but dextromethorphan even though it is less effective compared to that of opioids it has less side effects like hallucination is one of the side effects with dextromethorphan and addiction has been reported with this dextromethorphan and remember these dextromethorphans it can be combined with opioid drugs now what are these opioid drugs these opioid drugs they include codeine fall codeine these are the two opioid drugs remember the most common side effects of the opioid drugs is constipation constipation is the most common side effect next now let me discuss about the another drug that is diphenhydramine diphenhydramine it is an antihistaminic associated with anticholinergic side effects and sedation so this is about your diphenhydramine now we have another antitrusive that is called caramifen this caramifen it is a central anticholinergic drug combined with decongestant drug that is phenylpropanolamine that is phenylpropanolamine next we have another drug that is chromolin chromolin 
it acts by depolarizing the peripheral sensory nerves in respiratory tract and they can be used in cough induced by AC inhibitors. Next, we have another drug that is called Mogustin. It acts by opening potassium channels and causing hyperpolarization of peripheral sensory nerves of respiratory tract. And anti-tessive drugs are usually combined with expectorants and mucolytics. Now, let me discuss about the mucolytics. Remember, they contain a free sulfhydryl group like N-acetylcysteine that act by breaking the disulfide bond. Next, DNAase is an enzyme that liquefies the mucus and it is used in cystic fibrosis. And for wet cough, expectorants like bromhexin, potassium iodide and ambroxol are used. And remember, expectorants increases the bronchial secretion and decreases the viscosity of the bronchial secretions leading to increased mucosal flow that can be removed more easily through coughing. So that is about the expectorants. Now if you see the mechanism of action of these expectorants, you take potassium iodide. Potassium iodide, it increases the bronchial secretion by irritating the bronchial glands. Whereas, if you see the mechanism of action of bromhexin, bromhexin, it causes depolymerization of mucopolysaccharides resulting in production of less viscous mucus. That is, it is a mucolytic drug. And we have ambroxol, this is also a mucolytic drug. So this is the mechanism of action of your expectorants. But remember, you take your bromexin. The side effects with bromexin is, it has rhinorrhea or lacrimation as the side effects. So these are the group of drugs which are acting centrally. Now, you take the drugs acting peripherally. Drugs acting peripherally, they include local anesthetics like benzoate and the other drug is bupivacaine and lidocaine. They are given topically while mexilitine, it is given by oral route, mainly it has the peripheral action. So these are the peripherally acting anti -tussives. So, these are some of the important points of the drugs which are used in the treatment of cough.